up, Halo Army? It's your boy Milo. It's your girl Hazel. And what are we doing today, Shadi? Today we are doing a Chick fil A mukbang. Oh, my mama, cousin, cousin. You ask me a bad on I guess I'm a bad for me. Your body looks bad on me. Cause they get sweating for me. Won't you bag for me? Won't you bag? Won't you bag? Watch me bag for you. Two chicken nuggets on my mama because a nigga fat. You feel me? And what I always get from Chick fil A is the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich with pepper jack cheese. No tomato. I hate tomatoes. Mm. Disgusting. Is it good? Mm. On my mama, mama. You didn't get no fries? They no. don't really like their fries. I hate their fries. No flex. Yeah, no know. disrespect to y'all because I fuck with them. Their I'm fries need, are. I'm gonna okay. need that bag, baby. I mess with y'all though. I, I, I fuck with y'all service and the fact that y'all ain't stingy with fries. Hey, Lord, I buy you more. Yep. Facts. Chick fil A do not play no joke. Oh, God. I can't open this. <laughs> and I got some pop, some Coke. What you got, babe? I have food drinks. I don't drink soda. You too good for it or something? No, it just breaks me out. I'm trying to clear my skin up. You feel me? Good for you, baby. Good for you. Um, so, how's your day, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, let's talk about our plans. You go on. Okay. Break the ice. So, this is a really, it's honestly annoying to me at this point because I get it so much of people asking me, when are we getting married? And when we're having babies, like, but it's not annoying in a bad way. Just yeah, not a bad way, but we just get it so much. I don't know about you, but I get it all the time, like all the time. And I just want to finally address it. Mm. We want to address it. Um, first of all, I don't know why you guys ask me because I'm a female. It's like I don't know when he's gonna propose to me. Like he could be planning to propose to me tomorrow next week next year you know what i'm saying so like i don't really know that's mostly up to him because you know i'm i'm gonna just i'm gonna say yes you know what i'm saying like and but, baby, is but, <laughs> but yeah like i don't know when he's gonna propose so that's like it's kind of weird when people ask me when we're getting married because it's like how am i supposed to know that but at the same time like there's no rush to do it either like there's no rush to do anything like we're very young i don't know if you guys like realize how young we are because this generation is so fast paced we're only 20 you know what i'm saying like there's no rush and it's like this how how i look at it like she said let me eat first. <laughs> so like she said there is no rush whatsoever you know what i mean we've been together Going on two years and two months, it makes two years. You feel me? So we've been together long enough to um to know that this is something we're very content with. You know what I mean? We're still together. That says a lot. Um, and me personally, I'm not looking at marriage like okay, I'm gonna propose this time. You know what I mean? I know when we first got together, we put a minimum. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So. We put a minimum stamp on it, and that was it. We didn't put a maximum on it. 
<laughs> so saying two years is the minimum. You feel me? Like we'll start considering marriage after two years. You feel me? Because I feel like that's like the perfect time to really fully get to know, get to know, know somebody. Um, like inside and out. Know if that's like the person you really yeah, want yeah, to yeah. spend the rest of your life with. So it's like we've been together. We've been together. Whoa. That was super loud. We've been together like long enough to know that this is what we want. You feel me? Um, so now it's just, it's, it's all about the perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Cause that's not something, that's not something you just want to do. You feel me? That's not something you just want to wake up and be like, marry me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if it, there's um, so much, I'm sorry, baby. There's so much that goes into marriage. Like, I feel like, yeah, it's just a piece of paper. Nothing really changes. But if you're getting married, you're respected You're going to be love. engaged. He has to, we have to get rings for each other. That's not cheap. You have to plan the wedding. You know how much uh, an average wedding costs? Like, there's just so much finance behind getting married and so much plans that you have to make. And it's just like, girl. And it's like, like marriage, I don't, marriage is a big, marriage is a big, it's like this. At our age, and I'm going to be honest, at our age, marriage isn't going to benefit us much. You know what I mean? Marriage is not going to benefit us much at all marriage is more beneficial to people with kids um when it comes to schooling mm -hmm. buying a house like stuff like that we're not buying a house no time soon um like actually actually buying one and settle like settling down mm -hmm. somewhere where we like what like we were talking about the other day where we can see ourselves staying forever yeah you feel me so marriage is like one of them things um illegally binds you guys together you feel me um, we're not in a position where we're like, there's no, there's really no rush whatsoever. Like we don't, we don't have kids. We, it's just, it's just no rush. And when we feel like the time is right, it's going to be right. And it's going to be done right. It's not going to be something that we feel like was rushed. It's yeah. not going to be something that we feel like was forced. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be something that happened by itself. Because that is one of those things that has to happen by itself. Like naturally. Yeah, it's something... And Go ahead. Like there should be no like obstruction whatsoever. Like in our in our minds, we should feel like I want to do this. You know, and both of us, not just one of us, because obviously, like when you're in a relationship, you there's times when you feel like over, like overly in love. Like you feel like you love them more than you did yesterday, and more than you probably will tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's just those moments where you you feel like you're just like so in love, and it's mm -hmm. like. It's very unconditional where you you feel like, oh, my God, um, I want to marry you. And then the next day, you'll be like, oh, my God, you're so annoying. Like, mm -hmm. can you leave me alone? Mm -hmm. That's how a relationship is. But that... I said I wanted to marry you so many times, <laughs> which I do eventually, you know? And which it's still... T and then it's times, like, if we get into a little argument, you're like, oh, my God, like, can you just shut up and leave me alone? You know what I mean? Like, it's little things like that. And then when you get into those arguments, if those arguments make you feel like... Maybe, maybe we should wait. You know, if that those arguments create obstruction, then that shows that it's not the right time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like little things like that. Like if you ever have any doubt, even if it's as small as, oh my goodness, like I just, I just want to get away from her real quick, which is, which is normal. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But if that little thought is making you second guess marriage, then that's like that's that alone is a big deal. So that's kind of the thing. We don't want to create these little obstructions. We just want it to move as it, as it. We just want it to move as fluently and natural as possible. We don't want anything to get in the way of us. And I don't know about you, babe, but I want a really nice, beautiful, big wedding. I want to spend a hundred bands on our wedding. So like, like I don't feel like we're in a position to do that right now. So it's also about timing and finance and all that. So. We just gotta be smart about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're probably only set enough to probably do, like, a quarter of the wedding that we really want. Yeah. Probably, like, 20, 30 Hell, grand. Hell, get away from me! You hear me? Probably, like, a 20, 30 grand wedding. I want, like, a 100K wedding. I want fucking... I want dragons, pelicans flying in the sky in circles, like, singing, my, singing the national anthem. What the heck? I don't babe? know. I want something exotic that nobody has ever had. I want flames... In the clouds, I want goldfish doing backflips. I want that exotic shit. Okay, this is exactly why we have to um, plan everything first. Because <laughs> you want something completely different. I want them like ponies with actual ponytails. Like, you know, the 
them little white ponies with the real beautiful ponytails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I want I want some some real shit. My mom. And then kids. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's a whole other. That's a whole other thing. But is it crazy? Okay? Mm -hmm. Kids is even not worse. I don't want to say worse, but even more of a big deal. I want to get married first, like point blank. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like I have, I have a vision in my head of like how old I want to be, and like I want to be married first, and this and this and that. But at the same time, you never know what can happen. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. accidents happen like all the time. Like. I know I was an accident. I don't think any of us were ever planned. You know what I'm saying? A majority of, of people who are alive right now were not planned. You know what I'm saying? Um. But yeah, like we no, we never know what can happen. <laughs> we never know what can happen. Like we could I could accidentally get pregnant, and I don't believe in abortion. So if it happens, then it happens. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Think. Like it's on God's timing for real, for real. Like I wouldn't prevent it from happening. But I would prefer, I'm pretty sure you agree, mm -hmm. you, would prefer, you would prefer to be married already, already have um, lived our lives enough, I feel like, because we really do, we're into, we want to get more into traveling. Mm -hmm. Like, that's basically, like, one of the biggest things, too. Like, we want to travel and enjoy each other's company and time before we bring a child into this world, because that's a lot of responsibility. You won't be sleeping, you won't be... Having you time no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot to think about. You know, also something we're introducing to you guys because obviously it's our kid. You guys are going to see that kid as much as you see us. You feel me? That's just, that's us. That's a reflection of us. Mm -hmm. And basically going off of what she says, yeah, like, I agree. Like, obviously, when we were in Georgia, all we were saying was, um, <laughs> yeah, we're ready for a kid. We want a kid. And that was just through our moments of baby fever. You feel me? Like we're we're young adults. We we feel like we're ready to conquer the world. We always have baby fever. That's just how we are, especially especially her. So and me, I'm usually down for whatever she's down with. You know what I mean? If I'm if I'm like, oh my god, I got baby fever. I want to have a baby. She's gonna be like, uh, no. Let's talk about this. But me, if she was like. If she really, really want a child, um, I would most likely give her no, a child. No, but we were, like, dead thinking about having a baby once we moved here. We and were, like, like, really, we're seriously considering it. And when we... Y'all know when we lived in Georgia, my mom lived with me. My sisters lived with me, you know what I mean? So, now that we got our own house, we finally feel what a long time feels like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To have our own space and... We enjoy that, and we want to enjoy that a little longer before we take that next step. Because that next step is probably that's probably bigger than marriage. You what know is what I mean? having a baby? It is having a child is bigger than marriage. Mm -hmm. That's some that's you bringing another living living thing into your life like, that you got to take care of and care for for eighteen years. That's, longer than that, obviously, but that's you huge. Know. That's huge. So that's. Yeah. That's that's most definitely a big step that we really want to be prepared for. Not even, I feel like we're financially and physically mm -hmm. stable to um have a kid, but we want to be mentally stable mm -hmm. and also feel like we've done conquered our bucket list, did everything we ever want to do. I want to go skydiving, and I don't want to potential. I don't want to have a kid in this world and then worry about damn, I could die. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I want to <laughs> I want to be fearless. I want to be like damn, if I die today, like I I die. Mm -hmm. I die living. You feel me? And we don't want to be leaving our baby with other people just because yeah. we want to go to freaking Rome or something. Like that. Those are things we want to do now while we don't have that responsibility. And then if we do, worrying. Yeah. You know what I mean? We want to be fearless. We want to do these things but have a fearless mindset. We don't want to always be worrying and then also worry more. I'm sure when you have a kid, you worry about yourself more, like you drive safer. Because mm -hmm. now you're not thinking about your safety. You're thinking about, okay, if something happens to you, what will happen to this kid? And guys, like, even Halo, we don't. I don't even like going anywhere because we have a freaking dog, like, just a dog. It's like... But she be trying to take this damn dog on planes, When bro. we be, when we went to Miami that last time, like, 
Oh my god, like I missed Halo so much. I was so she, worried about her. Even she though she actually was, cried. She literally physically fucking cried stop. while we were laying in bed in Tampa. I missed her. And we literally left a day early. We were supposed to stay down there an extra day to look for houses and stuff. We left a day early just because she missed the damn dog. Even though I know she was being cared for and, and Dom was watching her, I knew she was okay, but... I love Halo so much, but I still come missed on, her. Come on. Like, you see, that's how I am with my dog. Can you imagine, like, how I would be with my baby? You know what she said? She said, can't nobody touch or kiss our kid. They can't. When, the fir when it's first born, you guys know that. People know when when a baby is first born, you're not supposed to let people kiss them on the lips or on the face. Like yeah, you're course. supposed to wait. That's what I'm saying. I can't wait to see your mom. Oh my god. My mom's gonna be my mom. I think I think, I think you're I think you're difficult now. Oh my god. What? In a good way though. In a good like difficult like oh my god you need to clean your hands don't do this oh my god. But my mom is gonna be so happy when I have a baby. I already She's gonna know. cry. She's gonna cry for sure. She cried when she thought she was pregnant. Oh yeah, when we pregnant her? You ain't even have a baby yet. My mom, she wants a grandbaby so bad. But mm -hmm. she also is like, you know, don't get pregnant, but I know she was Live your life first. Yeah, that's that's basically the advice we get from a lot of older people. They tell us just to live our life, do what we want right now, because once you have a baby, like it's I'm not saying a baby stops you from living your life or stops you it's from It's just a huge responsibility. Yeah, it's just more difficult to yeah. be able to do the things you want to do. Yeah, most definitely. It's almost like it's almost like let's say you make like five grand a month. You know what I mean? And your rent is only like eight hundred. You feel me? If you go from that eight hundred dollar apartment to a three thousand dollar house, that's a larger responsibility. So what does that do? That knocks your budget down a lot for that month and you're gonna be able to do less things because you have a Bigger responsibility. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. It does. When I was a kid, I was that kid that you ain't my you ain't my daddy, you ain't my mama. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me how to live my life. You feel me? <laughs> and the older I got from the mistakes I made, and I'm sure a lot of people around our age has the same mindset. Um, they were right. My grandma. My aunts, they were right. Everything they told me not to do because this might happen, <laughs> it happened. You feel me? And I was I was that disobedient child that didn't care. And I'm here to tell you all you all you younger, all all of our younger viewers, 14, 15, shit, 10, 12, 13, listen to the adults that tries to give you advice because most of the time they are right. 98% of the time they are right. So I take those things into consideration when older people give me advice. Yeah, because even now, like, I think back to a lot of things that my mom used to tell me and this. She always just tell me, you'll understand when you're older. Now that I have my own place and everything and I'm really, like, an adult, like, taking care of myself. Like, I look back and I'm like, oh my god, my mom was right. Like, you know, like, it's crazy. Like, you really don't realize it until you're in that position. Yeah. And it's too late. So it's like, I, I'm really, I'm really trying to take advice um on the baby situation from like I, the camera guy or the dude that came mm -hmm. to install the cameras and stuff he was telling us he was like wait until you're around 25 26 travel the world and he was telling us how his daughter is um ju zoologist zoologist, zoologist. Yeah. and it's just like things like that you know what i mean yep like people like him you feel me? Like, when they tell it, and it's like every single adult that has kids are telling us this. You know what I mean? We can't do anything but listen. Mm -hmm. It's almost like if 10 people is telling you that the world is round, don't listen to that one person that's telling you the world is square. But you know what's funny? You know what's funny, you know what's funny babe? Mm -hmm. I remember being in high school, even middle school. For some reason, I always said I want to be married and have kids by 26. Like, 26 was my number. Like, that was, like, the perfect number to me. I don't know why. It is, because you almost old. 30 years <laughs> you old. You almost old. <laughs> you almost old. You halfway there. <laughs> I don't know, because I feel old now. I know. I'm sorry for anybody that's over 30, but you old. <laughs> oh, nobody gets offended. <laughs> but, yeah. Your mom's going to call me and yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. We definitely want to get married. We definitely want to have kids. Um... Be honest. Don't be dramatic. Be honest. How many kids do you want? I want three. Okay. 
That's what I always say. Me, I would prefer two, but the most I would have is three. After three, I'm getting my tubes tied or something. This I'm is why I say. This is why I say three. As a sister, you you would you will understand this. With me having two sisters, and I didn't grow up with no brothers. I have, I have um, yeah, I didn't I didn't grow up with um, none of my brothers. So, me growing up in a household with two sisters, mm -hmm. I wasn't worried about it. I'm a I'm a guy, you know what I mean? Like guys, they build bonds with dudes that are unbreakable. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like me and Dom, that that is like my blood brother. Mm -hmm. I look at him like a blood brother. And I met him when I was younger. I could grow with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Females. How many females can you honestly say still have friends from when they were kids mm -hmm. to now? Mm -hmm. Female friends don't stick around as much as guy friends do. You know what I mean? So I want one son just for the simple fact that he don't need a brother to grow up with. You feel me? Because he's going to always find friends. They're going to always hang out and. Females do too, but um, I'm just comparing me. I was I was the only boy growing up with two sisters. My sisters was always getting into drama with their friends. You feel me? Yeah. I never got into drama with my friends. All my friends were we would type. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I and literally everybody I call my brother, my cousin, my brother, my cousin. They all was guys I grew up with. Mm -hmm. You feel me? These are guys that I met in school, like Malik, Dom. Like, I met Dom at a, at a freaking concert, at a show that mm -hmm. we had. You feel me? And, like, we built we built this bond. Like, um, we built an unbreakable bond. And my sister can't say the same. Yeah. My sisters can't say the I same. I feel like that is true, like, with guys. Like, Traviana, the only, un the only friend that she really has that she has this unbreakable bond with is her, October. Yeah, her cousin. And that's her cousin. Mm-hmm. And that, that's just how I look. I feel like us as a, I feel like an only daughter will have it so much harder than like an only son. Yeah. So I feel like we should have, I want, I want that. That's why I definitely want at least two so they have each other. You know what I'm saying? Like I would never want to have just an only child. Like, I feel like that's terrible. Yeah, but that, yeah, that's the thing though. Like I, if I, if I do, if we do have two kids, I want it to be two girls. For real? Yeah. I want, but I want our first kid to be a boy. Me too. I always say like, I always wanted our first, like my first child to be a boy because if we have other kids after that, like a girl or a boy, they have an older brother to like protect them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, cause I know I always wanted that. Like, I always wished like that I had an older brother, and I never did. So I'm like, I want to make sure that my kids like do. You know and what I saying? just, I just want, I, yeah, I want, I just want two daughters that and that has an older brother. Yeah, I want two daughters. That has an older brother that's three years older than so me. So you want a boy and two girls? Yeah. Like I said, the two girls. Sounds and good. I, the two girls, I don't know if this is putting a lot on you, but I, I want them one year apart. <laughs> oh, you have exact, you have exact years and everything. Yeah, I want, oh them, my I want them to be the, basically the same age. Mm -hmm. If you can have two twin girls, that'll be perfect. So if you could try to do that, that'll be perfect, okay? <laughs> I don't know if it's a certain position we gotta do to get twins or something, but I want I want two girl twins. You are crazy. And an older brother, like that would be that's like my dream family. Yeah, most likely not gonna happen though. No. I want um. Uh, Baby, watch me have all girls or all boys. All, either or. <laughs> I'd be cool. I'd be cool with um all boys, but yeah. I don't know about all girls. That's scary. You want to have all girls? Oh my god. I'm just playing. And girls are harder to raise. Yeah, they are. They're way harder to raise. But, yeah, guys. You gotta worry about all those hormones coming out when they start having their beard. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Trust me, I have three sisters and my mom. It was uh, uh, five girls in one house. like. Oh, my God. Junior, Junior, Junior. I salute you, Junior. Mm-hmm. My stepdad, yeah. But, anyways, um, I hope we, like really like touched on the topic for you guys like i don't want to have to answer this again just watch this video yeah we're still gonna have to answer because these people that ain't gonna see this video <laughs> but yeah guys bottom line we definitely want to get married mm -hmm. right first yes first that's like the first thing that we really want to do but like i said a lot of planning a lot of just you know being sure and um i definitely want to have kids too but we just want to make sure the timing is right for everything. Like, we still want to 
just live our lives and be young because we are the reality is we are still really young like i know sometimes we feel old because uh our responsibilities we know living alone together Mm. in our first house like we feel like real adults but we're still very very young well i hope we answered all of your questions i hope we really hit the topic on the head of the nail with a hammer (laughs) in the motherfucking head show because it be like that sometimes but yeah we do want to get married Damn, we, son. Yeah, we love you guys so much um make sure you like this video okay oh like yeah this get video. this video like twenty thousand likes and we'll do something <laughs> but yeah like this video um subscribe if you're not subscribed already like why are you why are you watching this if you're not subscribed like true story like what subscribe. are you doing bro um, comment if you want to see us do more mukbangs, if you enjoy these little sit-down talk videos. And, um, make sure your post notifications are on. Oh! I'm going to need y'all to go. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to go cop the new drips. I'm going to need y'all to go cop the new drips. Um, It's been out for a while now, but we ain't got a chance to promote it. But we got this blue one with the hologram fo- foil. And we also got a purple one. With the gold for you, I can't find it, so I don't care. No, but yeah, go make go make that move, bro. But we about to shake, you feel me? Stay drippy, you feel me? Yeah. Oh, mama cuckoos. I'm so sleepy. Me too. This pool guy never came. But alright, y'all, we love y'all. Um. Wanna go up there? I will. I can't reach it. Can you do it? You yeah. ask me a better one, I guess I'm a bag for me. Your body looks better on me. Cause they get sweating for me Won't you back for me Won't you back, won't you back Watch me back for you I'm a bag for you